If I ever were to lose you, I'd surely lose myself. Everything I have found here, I'm not found by myself. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. Um, we're playing as Ali again, and last time we uh, we started out by playing as Joel, then we uh, met up in the town, you miss being with him? fast forwarded four years, with Jesse? and played a bit as Ali, and no. then we met two new characters, Been Abby so long. and Owen, Look, who were Jesse's apparently great. going off to the I village. Love his and I'm gonna shut up for they a second, will always be family, but Story. we were just on autopilot. Okay. Hey, how come we never talked about this stuff? I don't know. It didn't feel... You never really talked to me about Kat. Yeah, because... There isn't much to talk about. Yow. I just... I, I got the impression that you didn't really like her. I don't care about her one way or the other. <laughs> okay. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. Well, that's so big of you. And I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. Okay. So, what I, what was I saying? Yeah, we uh, met two new characters who are apparently looking for some... Oh, there's a squ squirrel. There's a squirrel! This is the best game ever I saw, Squirrel. Um, but uh, yeah, Abby and Owen apparently are looking for somebody in the village. But they don't seem to have the best intentions. I heard stuff on the left. Okay, never mind. Let's go in. So right now we're looking for, well, any kind of disturbances along this uh, path. Hey. See if there are any infected or something like that. You want to see something spectacular? You're going to point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> that was Nothing a good one. Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, chick about Oh, brother. Come on, stupid. So, do we have guns? I, I mean, we do have guns. We have a pistol in our pants and then this, uh, this rifle on our back. But it doesn't seem like we can hey, use it already. Way. Yeah, okay. Dinah, take it easy. Ooh. Secret area. Secret area. We can open that. Oh, no, there's a... Ooh. Bullets! Yes! I found a secret bullet. We're gonna win this game with that single bullet. Okay. We're here. Anything else over here? More bullets? Oh no, I need to press X. There we go. That is an, a nice view. It's talking about the village, you dirty minds. What do you think of this view, huh? Pretty nice. Yeah, this route has its perks. Where we sign in? <laughs> Come on. Fuck. Yeah. There seems to be some erotic tension between these two, aside from that single uh, kiss from before. Wow. So there's. This, wait, this is something else, right? Because the, the village we saw was walled off. So this is a different village. And there's a bridge that was clearly blown up by somebody. And then there's, for some reason, a giant tank of flammable liquid right next to us. Probably should be careful about that. Who do you used to do Ooh, this route with? Mary. Jesse? Eugene. Right. Ah, oh, Eugene. Man, he was funny. Oh, yeah. Can't we go over here? No, From, because of the barbed wire. Okay, Eugene was funny. So Eugene, I'm assuming Eugene died Plus, and died and needs to go first. Tell me about rewiring electronics and stuff. May we all be that sharp at 73. May we all make it to 73. Indeed. A little bit of a rope. Could have probably used a ladder. This would have been way easier than just a rope. Okay. Going for the slow me method, I suppose. There we go. 
Kali seems a bit faster than Dinah here. Anything over here? Maybe a fresh Coca-Cola? No? Okay. Hashtag not sponsored. Sinusin. Sinusin. Hi. What was this place? Uh, it used to be a radio tower. Oh, uh, is there is there ammo around here? Okay. Seems like the recreation room, because there's even a bong on the table over there. Um, but, aha! Scavenged parts, you can use that to upgrade our weapons at the workbench. So that still works like it used to. And there's even more in the drawer here. Bong! There we go. The huff and puff. Hey, I'm gonna guess this bong was your jeans. Huh. It's mine. He gave it to me. Hey, do you have any on you, actually? Oh, I wish. Eugene always had some on him. I have no idea why I can rotate this, because it looks like she's stirring a bit, a big pot of soup or something like that. There we go, just rotating that around. Okay, enough fun. Let's uh, see what uh, Dinah is doing in here, because I suppose we're just passing through here. Because we're supposed to be just checking everything out, so I don't think we need to stop here. Oh, no bullets. Don't mind if I do. And then there's this. Seems like a log of some kind. Aha. Uh -huh. We do actually need to sign in. That was really quickly. Okay, so... Dinah and Eugene did this most of the time. Find a wild horse stuck on the ice, call it out. Skipping the next look at all clear. Clicking in the basement. This is where Eugene must have died then, because at the 27th of August was the last time that Dinah and Eugene went, and then it was Jesse and, and Dinah. Followed them to a small encampment, two adults and one child in need of medical attention. We'll be skipping the next look at and taking them straight to town. Tommy and Joel, Greg and Bonnie, Tommy and Joel, two clock clickers by the gas station clockers. Clickers. And then, of course, us all clear. Okay. Interesting. Come here. Uh, let's talk to Dino. See, that's the village. Stop. Oh no, that's something Take else. A There's a clock tower in there. How many villages are there in this place? So we have. See a strip mall? Ooh. Oh, with the supermarket? No. Town's past that. Uh, so that's over there with the clock There's tower. There's the town. With the big tower thing? Yep, that's where the next lookout is. Okay, so that's our next objective then. Let's get back to the horses. Good. Fair enough. Anything else over here? Probably not. Anything in the big cooler thing? Nope. nope. Is there? No. Oh. Well, for a second there was blood on the cooler, but uh, let's get back to the horses. Hey, oh, I felt like Dino wanted to say something, but I kind of cut her off, I think, Come on. by getting the horse. Do we actually move forward now? Is there another? Oh, we're just going to jump over the barbed wire now. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Then jump. There we go. Didn't think that the horses would be that big of a part of this game. I think we should go out like Eugene. From a stroke? No. From old age. Like living a long life. You? No way. Come on. You're way too reckless. Oh, look who's talking. Well, you'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am wearing boots today. You know how you're gonna die? Dude, let me guess. You're gonna kill me? And, well, apparently. Your yeah, she, she stayed quiet there no. for a second. Maybe. Oh. Fuck you. Are we making water Sorry. noises now? <laughs> that was weird. We were making water noises for a second there. Um, but, I mean, that's the first bug we encountered in over an hour or so. And it's a very, very minor one. What's this? It seems like. Is this the area we just went through with... No. With Abby, I don't think so. There is actually multiple ways through this. It's not like a fully guided area. 
And I completely lost where Dinah is, I think. Yeah, okay. Follow her tracks. I was distracted again. Hey, should we check these houses out? Seems quiet, but we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. Why would they after four years of you just running through here every single time? Um, but sure, I'm gonna. What do you know about out. this place? Just another evacuated neighborhood. Infected almost never make it out this far. We usually catch them on the outer perimeter. Um, seems like there's a what way up like? here. Uh, I was thinking of inviting Joel to watch a movie. Oh, you guys good? Yeah. What movie are you guys gonna watch? What's Joel into? Uh, Curtis and Viper 2. That's the one that's been on my radar for a while. Oh, wow. Well, we used to watch these cheesy 80s action movies. He's really into them. Oh, no. I actually really like them, too. <laughs> what about you? What are you doing later? Some people were talking about sneaking out. Going sledding. <laughs> that sounds fun. But sneaking yeah. out ends badly, Ali, you know that. Let's just read up, this doctor? first. Uh, okay. Oh, gold. Maybe I'll play guitar for you. Okay. Dear Santa, I was a good boy this year. Can I please have a big dog? I wanted to keep my daddy safe while he goes hunting for food. Kid. It could also help protect our house from the monsters. It could also help keep me company when my daddy closes himself in the bedroom. Here's what she should look like. And you also kept me a gun. I think if I was stronger, my daddy would be happier. Thank you very, very much, Eric. Okay. What's Curtis and Viper 2 about? Okay, so two former commandos that go rogue to fight bad guys. And I think in this one... They go up against Russian spies or something. I'm more interested in this than I thought I would be. All right, so the young one, Viper, he's a trained ninja. And he's a complete badass. So how old is he in the first movie? Uh, 10. <gasps> Wait, how many movies did they make of this? Uh, I think they made four? Jeez. Joel actually saw the last one in the theater. Am I crazy? Yes. Okay, so there's out there this place as well, the caravan. Has to be. I don't know. I mean, what if they're all just like us? Just surviving day to day. Well, I write new music, so someone had a camera. Wait, hold up. There are original Ellie songs? Why haven't you played any for me? Well, I, I don't know. Come on, will you play one for me tonight? Mm. I'll think about it. Yeah, indeed. So These trailers are neat. This is really cool. Nice little portable home. You think people really traveled a lot in these things? Well, wouldn't you? I mean, if I'd lived pre outbreak, yeah, I'd go see the whole country. Or travel to another country. Maybe one day we will. Huh. Keep dreaming. So there's a lot of dialogue and a lot of places to explore. So I'm gonna skip through a few of them. Oh, snap a raffle bullets. He's such a hardcore Jackson guy. And we get ooh, Asseractor. That's a card. Oh yeah. Hmm. Appearing one day from out of the blue, no one knows where or when this mysterious trans-dimensional being came from. Their ability to move in and around our dimensional space at will has turned the tide in many battles, though using this power leaves them as weak and vulnerable as a newborn. Claiming to have the no name, they were bestowed the nickname Tesseractor by the Society of Champions. However, some suspect Tesseractor is keeping their true, undiscovered identity a secret. Okay. So that's one of the collectibles, I suppose. If you find all of those cars, probably get a, a shiny trophy. Probably not going to be for this playthrough, because I'm 
not looking up a single thing. Now, is there a way? Aha, there we go. So there are upgrades that we can spend our pills on or supplements on. Um, so we have listen mode, movement speed increasing, faster health gets, increased health, and then another movement speed increase and endure. Otherwise lethal damage will instead leave you at low health, giving you an opportunity to escape. Uh, but they seem to be sequential, so we need to learn the first one before I can move further. And then on the crafting side, craft melee upgrades. Craft an upgrade for your melee weapons, restoring it to full durability and greatly increasing its damage. Faster crafting. Uh, ooh, a locked skill. And improved health kits and another locked skill. And then training manuals. Okay. Sounds interesting. But for now, we only have 11 pills, so that's not something we can use just yet. And I think that's... The final building we could have checked, otherwise I think we need to use the horse again. There are other houses here, but it seems like... Yeah, they want us back on the horse. Back in the saddle, so to speak. So let's just go back in the saddle. And then move forward. I don't think... Yeah, this doesn't seem... Enterable. And this big house is probably also... Yeah, it's too covered in the... In the trees to even get to. So moving along, nothing seems to be happening just yet, probably the calm before the storm, knowing uh, the last of us, but uh, yeah, let's move forward. So I'm kind of getting over the first awe, but uh, there seems to be blood over here, that's probably not good. Ooh. What the hell did this? What the fuck? Oh, that smell. Looks like Infected did this. So How many do you think it would take to bring down a moose? More than one. Where the hell are they? Let's go find them. Okay. So we do have... So I can swap between the pistol, which can apparently hold ten rounds. So it's a bigger pistol than the one we used in Abby's uh, part. And press R1 to quickly swap weapons. Okay. So we have the pistol and the long gun. I'm gonna start with the pistol first because it seems like we're going inside. The long gun is probably not gonna be the best thing to use inside. Can I actually use the listening mode as well here? Yeah. Shit. It's definitely in. I hear some inside. Yeah. How the fuck did they get in there? More importantly, how do we get in there? Well. Dina, this way. There's like a bloody entryway over here. Oh, this is gonna be fucking great. This is gonna be great. Okay, so there's one. There's one over there. And there we go. Ooh. And he has her knife. That is interesting. So that goes a little bit quicker than what we did with Abby. That's one. Yes, indeed. That is one. Let's see if we can get around to the back of the supermarket. So that's the second Good one. Good idea. Uh, but there is also a door over here. I don't know if that's... I'm gonna open this up. And just push that open. Oh, this is gonna make a lot of noise. Uh, yeah. And, um, that was interesting. You good? Yeah. Can I go throw, back? Oh, Thanks. wait a second. I wanted to, there was another door there. Oh, the way we came in was it. barricaded. How'd that um, runner get in here? Yeah. So we need to get back That's out question. now. He probably... What's wait. the most infected you've ever taken down on ah, patrol? Probably over there then. It's gotta be the one I had with Joel a year or so ago. It was like, I don't know, a dozen? You? Cleared about 20 once. There was a group passing through. Fuck. Maybe we'll get you a new personal record today. Uh, uh, but I hope not. That, that That's a terrible thing to hope for, Ellie. God damn you. Um, so, it seems like bottles have increased in power then. Bottles and bricks, then, I suppose, too. So if you throw them at an enemy, 
like we did with the snowballs. Then the stun that we can do. That was an insta kill. So let's just go up here. Ooh. Uh, probably the right one first. Okay, so Dina actually goes, or Dina. I don't know. I, I, I keep saying Dina, but it might actually be Dina. So there's one more over here. There's probably more inside. But stab and grab, or grab and stab. I should say. I hate the animation, by the way, because she actually pulls the knife forward, which means that she completely rips open the throat, <laughs> which is horrifying. So there's one more over there. I think I can just move up. Oh no, there's a second one in the back there. So I just need to be careful. This listening mode isn't isn't perfect. And stab! Stab, 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 stab! Ah, and Dana actually goes for the other one. That's good, because then I can take a little look in the, in the shelves and everything here. Nope. Empty, empty, empty. Okay. That all of them? I think so. Yeah. Looks like it. We still gotta get the ones in the supermarket. Let's keep circling the building. There's gotta be a way in. I mean, we killed about seven or eight already. <laughs> it's going rather quickly. Aha, uh -huh, that's a bottle. Let me grab that. Oh, and there's a brick as well. Are you a brick person or a, a bottle person? Uh, usually I'm a brick person, but yeah, it doesn't seem like I can easily switch this out. Can I swap? Yeah, I can swap to the pistol again. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. All right, go ahead. And up the daisy. Up the diner. Um, there's a hole in the roof over there. Are you? Here. Yeah. Okay. So she's pulling me up. Oh, I hate low camera angles like that. Thanks. Look, see? All right. Let's figure out how to get in there. Uh. Okay. Let's just go down then first. Do I... I mean, I'm not Nathan Drake. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm, I, I really don't like the... Uh, <laughs> the crawling. Oh, this is such a bad... Ooh, it's in the face. Wow, health is down. Yeah. Just banged up. I think I lost half my health. Please die of old age and not because you get infected. I really don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Um. Deal. So nobody told. Cool. Okay, so they haven't told anybody about the fact that Ellie is immune to the infection, which is interesting to say the least, because it is a. A very important plot point from the original game, but right now, yeah, maybe it's best to not say anything about that. But if she gets bitten, you might want to avoid getting shot by your friends because they think you're gonna turn. Okay, let's see. There's oh, this is this isn't good, is it? There goes nothing. Alrighty, this is yeah, this is really. Really not not cool. Okay, another letter. I can just read that. Ma'am, I'm sorry to God for what I did. I wasn't going to hurt you. I didn't want anything from your store except for the drugs. Your husband came at me. What choice did I have? My little sister stopped feeling her feet. I needed the insulin. Everyone is hoarding the stuff. What choice did I have? I hope he survives. I am so sorry. Okay. But uh, that gives us eight more pills, so that puts us at 19, if I'm not mistaken, which gets us pretty close to our first ability. Where do, where do I go? I mean, we could... Aha! We can climb inside of the trailer. There's more scrap over here. And another bottle. In case you missed the last one. 
Um, hmm. We could crawl on top of the cabin. Yeah, that's that's the way to go. And then climb over here. Yeah. Okay. This way. Okay. 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 Let's just climb up. And then uh, maybe take a listen. I love how you automatically go into stealth when you I'm in. listen. Okay, so this seems to be a locked off room. We're fine for now. Seems like a conference room. Should we check for supplies? Uh, of course. Of course we do. We always open up every single thing that we can open up. There we go. Now we have a... I feel good now. A full magazine. Oh my god, the amount of bullets. Um, there's another cabinet over here. And that gives us... Aha! Our first hey, bit of crafting materials. Got some alcohol. A couple of rags. And yeah. I have a bottle. Fix yourself up. Um, I could also make, you know... Aha. Mm. Uh, um, um, uh -huh. Okay, so now we can craft a health kit. There we go. And then if we equip it and hold, then we can heal up. So that's half a health bar. Like with Abby. Makes sense, but we need Masks alcohol and rags. Masks on. Got it. Okay, so just so everybody's on the same page, Ellie is immune to the disease. Um, but seems to be the only one, so Never. she's doing this for show. I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. She's really hampering all about that. That is, yeah. All these spores mean they've been here for a while. Keep your eyes peeled for older infected. Yep. So, the idea behind the infection is that people get infected by these spores. They start growing inside of your bad. head, which means that you lose your mind at first, turn into runners. And then the further it progresses, the more the spores start to grow out of your body and eventually turn you into clickers and a whole lot worse. And when you're at the end of the cycle, you actually turn into... You know, I think it's yeah that that pile of goo over there. That's that was a human at one point, but then it just turned into a pile of goo and mushrooms, and that that then releases those spores. So there's a small pathway through here. I'm not gonna turn on the flashlight just yet. You can let me know in the comment section if this is too dark. For now, I can see fine, but it might be dark on YouTube. Um, it's gonna have to be careful. I don't hear anything yet. I would think that just true normal hearing, I would hear uh, if there's anything close by as well. I do love the the uh, the atmosphere of the the particles being lit up by the the flashlight. That's really cool. Okay, we're automatically taking out the gun, which probably means that there are enemies close by. But for now, I'm just grabbing supplies. There is a safe here. Probably we need the combination to open that up. So yeah, we need to input the, the safe combination, but might be over here, which is gonna be stupid. Yo, Chrisom, left the real sh shit in the safe for you. Combo is the date my good boy got employee of the month. Don't fucking sell those or give them away. That's for your back, remember? Feel better, Mina. Okay, so my good boy became employee of the month. Uh, there's a picture of a dog on the desk here. So he might be referring to his dog for some reason. Aha, wait. There we go. The dog, July 2013. So that's gonna be... Um, well, we're gonna have to see. Is that... 07 and then 20, oh wow. That's a big dialogue, by the way. 20, 30, like this. There we go. Oh, shit. Ooh, wow, look at that. That's a whole heap of stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. So now, no, not that. Is it that? Yeah, the touch screen, the touch, the touch pad. Uh, so why did the listen mode crafting speed Increase the speed of using the health kit or the melee upgrades, but maximum health is also really cool. But the melee upgrades are probably going to be the best thing to put uh, supplements in first, so that's... There we go! Apprentice! We got our first 
trophy of the game. So now we can make a uh, melee weapon upgrade. So that's going to... Uh, and it, it also increases the durability of the weapon that you have equipped. So it's probably best to do that at uh, on a weapon that has almost lost its complete durability. Oh, wow. Okay. This is going to be bad. Uh, press it, press it, press it, press it, press it, press it. Oh, my God. Okay. That was some cold-blooded shit. Stealth go clickers with your switch blades. Sneak up and press triangle to grab them. Are you freaking serious? Last time, we couldn't do that to clickers. Push lightly to move quietly. Oh. I feel like they made the sound louder of clickers. Um, I'm gonna move really, really quietly. And that's probably gonna make noise, I would think. Oh, damn, this just... Where are they? Okay, there's one on the right and the other one is around the corner, so... How? 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 Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, yeah, okay. That was a great start. Oh, so you can use bottles on clickers as well. That's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to try stuff like that. Okay, so I think the left one might actually be better. So apparently the clicking, the clicking probably works better in this game because... In the previous games, you could be right in front of a clicker, and that wasn't a problem. But it seems like this time it's more of a problem. There we go. So there's the second one. You're gonna have to move, move to the sides, move to the sides. Because it started doing the detection thing when it was right in front of me, so I think it does have some kind of echo location knowing that there's somebody right in front of them so yeah probably that if it's doing that it's detecting you okay there we go so the fact that we're able to stealth kill the, these now in one go Those blind motherfuckers make my skin crawl yeah you're, you're not the only one you Let's also just sure died because of one of them and then get the fuck out of here. Yeah, wow. Okay. Speak in my language. That was a... Uh, yeah, fir first death. Uh, um, I mean, I fucked that up completely. Um, is this door openable? Doesn't seem like it. Ooh, I'm gonna just do a bit of looking around. And I'll get back to you guys in a second. That was horrible. So I think I went through every bit of shelving, so... uh There we go. Let's push that upwards. <laughs> Oh, one, two, three. That was again really loud. Can you please be quiet, Dinah? I'll make you a present. Wait, I'll take what? a present. What the? She gonna make a Molotov cocktail? She's she's definitely no. making a Molotov cocktail. Ooh. Here. Present. Thanks. Real love, giving your um. Uh, Romantic interest, a mold of coffee. Careful with that. I'm a pro. I should put that just in. We're oh. not done. No, we're definitely not done. Why are we doing this again? And how are these guys getting here constantly? This is so weird. I don't get how these keep appearing over here. Was that me stepping in glass? I think it was. Or did more just enter the building? Because I think we need to go over there, right? 
So, jump. Probably a really bad idea. I'm always happy there's a shelf right where we start. Well, I think so. There we go. Hit the runners first. And maybe I should... I'm going to turn the light off. So I don't know where that other clicking is now, but I think there was a running yeah, at the end of the hallway over there. This is a wide open area, by the way. Damn. Slowly moving past. And then there's the one runner on the right here. Is it moving away again? I think it is. Okay, oh wow, it reacts immediately if you go too fast. Oh, come on, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, run it. Don't turn around, run it. Oof, super far. Is there one behind me? No, it was the one dying that made that noise. Okay, so we're down to a runner and a clicker. So this guy's gonna have to die, but Dinah's a little bit in the way, okay. Oh, please, 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 please die. I'm wide out in the open here. I'm pressing all the buttons. I'm pressing all the buttons, okay. One more clicker, and now we've done this entire area. Very stealthy-like. I don't want to die now, so I'm just going to slowly approach the click. Oh, 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 don't make sharp noises. No, how? 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 Thank you. There we go. Jesus, where the hell did that guy come from? Are there more? Thank you, Dinah, for the support, by Are the way. Still moving? Uh, nope. <laughs> you know Why? What? I'm um, impressed with us. I can actually make this now, right? Yeah, so let's make okay. a help kit. Let's go to the next lookout and take a fucking break. We earned it. Damn. <laughs> Damn, that was harsh. I don't know where that final runner came from. That was a bit weird. You see a way out? Yeah, over there, but I'm just gonna take a look around, so give me a second. I must say, this is very reminiscent of the, the first game, because of course your first encounter with the clickers in the first game was in the, the subway station, but it was a subway station that had a bit of... Uh, um, how should I put this? There were a few stores over there, so it kind of looks familiar, even though... It isn't the same type of area here, so we can find... Just found this, this side area, which is uh, cool, I guess. And there's probably some more supplies over here. There's a brick, goddammit, I took another, another bottle instead. And I'm a brick person. So, I think I did an entire loop, so now we need to exit through this thing. Probably need to press a button or something. I won't budge. Oh. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna hurl me up through that hole in the roof. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're not the Hulk, Dinah. What? Wait, what? Are you serious? Wait, what's this? Ooh, there's rope! Cable here! Rope or cable or whatever. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah. That should hold us. Okay, so now we need to aim that over the... So that's not over it. That is over it. Get over! There we go. Fuck yeah. So now we can use this. Okay. 
Wait, okay, what? Okay, that's good. Here I go. Okay, now I needed to go first. I should probably not stand underneath that, just in case she falls down. Ooh, uh, feel like there might have been a better position to do that for me. This is gonna break, isn't it? Oh, I got over there. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm fine. Thanks for asking. It is indeed very windy. Um, now that we're back here, can I quickly go back in the way we came? Storms really picked up. Yeah, give me a second, because I wanted to check out if there was the anything lookout? over here, because I think there was a door here that I missed. Following you. So this door over here, we never opened that up. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. So this one is locked. But we can get out here. And then through here. And then we get over here. Extra pills. Yes, definitely was uh, worth going back here. Two more pistol bullets. And then we can probably open up the door from over here. There we go. More stuff for us. Yeah, storm is really picking up, so let's just get back on the horse. And move forward. Feel like we might be getting to uh, a point in the story where things are going to turn. Because the storms and storms in, in stories, like whether it's a, a TV series or a movie or a video game, usually don't indicate something good that's going to happen. Away, are we? Trying to follow Dinah here because visibility is starting to be reduced rather uh, rather quickly here. So it's getting worse. Turn back. We won't make it. We're almost there. Almost to what exactly? Because right now, oh, I think she's going over there. Can we I know, go? Girl. I know. The horse Look. doesn't respond anymore, by the way. Dina, so. How much yeah, she went on without us, and the horse Dina. is slowing down. Oh, this is great. Dina. I was... Are those gunshots, or is that something else? Um, okay, we're officially lost. Dina, where are you? Shit. So it's Dina, by the way. I should should continue saying Dina instead of Dina. Dina. Uh, I don't like this. I don't Dina! like this at all. So yeah, we're completely lost. I think I just made a, a circle as well. So this is not good. Um, I also completely uh, set set the vibe for this play too because I'm. It's like 11 o'clock in the evening. Okay, that came from over there. Where are you? I don't know. Just keep talking. It's 11 o'clock in the evening and it's pitch oh, black God. in my uh, my room here. Where are we going? Which isn't helping. Just trust me. Trust you. Okay. I think we already did that with our lives several times during this trip. I can't believe that we survived four years like this. Can we get the horse inside as well? Because. There we go. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Okay, seems like a public library. I'll get the door. But shouldn't we first check if there's anything in here? You know, for, for safety. You been here? Rode by it. Never came inside. All right, let's make sure it's clear. Okay, um, I should probably start sneaking. Uh, ah, I thought I was gonna, going to be able to sneak in between there, but for now... Things seem pretty quiet, but there are plenty of bottles around, so I'm... Guessing that's not gonna be a good sign. And it's pitch black in here. The door seems to be closed off. Yeah, I need a bolt cutter of some sort to 
Got that open. Doesn't feel like anyone's been here in a while. No, but I mean everything is still in its place, so let's just open this up. Shit. Okay, so that's I gotta see what's back there. Can't I just throw a brick? Can you can you break a window with a bottle? You can! So that's why there's a lot of bottles over here. So let's go in. And then grab all the stuff. What's going on here? Ooh, 17! That was a lot, so we're probably gonna get our first workbench here, I suppose. All this electronic stuff? This has to be Eugene's. Are you sure? Yeah, nobody else would tinker with this shit. But why would he hide it from me? Hmm. Can can we use the workbench already, or is that because this looks like a workbench, but apparently not at the moment. Huh. Eugene Linden. Definitely Eugene's place. Okay, so we can flip that over. He was a, a firefly? firefly. He served with Tommy. Okay, so that gives us a bit of background information. Some of the people in the village no were yeah. originally fireflies. They got into some real dark shit. Will you please look forward when you're going like into what? a room like that? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver QZ, killed three soldiers and two civilians. Jesus. Wait, he was also that? Told me that Ooh. he and Tommy slow tortured some big Fedra general. I don't know. I, I don't buy Tommy doing that, though. He could do worse. There's something behind this bookcase. I can see the area behind it. He and Joel did a lot to survive after the outbreak. Yeah, Joel isn't a good person. If you never played the original Last of Us, he's not a really good guy. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, I think we're writing in our diary. We can check that. So that's a little bit of a an Uncharted touch. Uh, Zoom. Zoom. Uh, was Eugene in touch? Hmm. Uh, Dina asked if I was gonna go to the dance and she touched my arm. Ah, I'm so delusional. Don't be an idiot. She's like that with everybody. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. The night was crazy. I feel scared, elated, anxious, just gonna sleep it off. And then what she just entered was... Was Eugene in touch with other fireflies? Did he hear about me and Joel? No, he probably would have said something. Okay. So there we go, confirming our uh, our suspicion there. As of course, Joel at the end, we saw that at the very beginning of the game. Joel uh, basically killed every single one of the fireflies in that building. And we can grab another... Ooh, CEO Spark trading card. Laurent Foucault. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm not going to read all of those because they're, they're just playing cards. They're just collectibles. They just add a bit of spice to this uh, world. But for now, this seems to be quiet and I should probably shut up and not, not antagonize anybody. Although at the moment I can't even crouch. Oh, that's a nice touch. That's a PlayStation 3 with Uncharted 2 and Jack and Daxter, so the, the previous games. And Uncharted 1 is underneath Uncharted 2, I think. From, uh, of course, from Naughty Dog themselves. That is a nice touch. Anything, any other Easter eggs over here? This is actually a really cool playroom with a bed in the middle, so definitely somebody was living here. And then we have... Oh my god. It's Tommy and Eugene. Huh. They look like babies here. So we can probably flip that around or not. <laughs> no. I, I can't flip it or anything, so that's Lights, just them. Heaters. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. Hmm. The generator, you say? So we can have some power in this area. Then we have another letter. Eugene, I'm begging you to come home. The fireflies want to save the world. I say, let them. Let them go after the military. Fireflies. Harsh. Let them go after the military, the politicians. Let them develop a vaccine to save mankind. Maybe one day we'll live to see the fruits of their fantasies. 
Until then, I have to put our daughter first. The fireflies will be fine without you. Your daughter won't. She keeps asking me when you're coming home. I can't lie to her anymore. I miss you, but I don't know how much more of this I can take. Come home, please. We love you, Claire. And then at the back, we have these pictures. Okay, let's put that away. So yeah, we get a bit of backstory on Eugene. Hey, found the generator. There's the generator, but this seems like a workstation, right? Come on. Okay. So let's turn that on. And... Nope. And there we go, a little bit of a rhythm oh, game. That's better. Oh wow. Aha. Uh -huh. Impressive workbench, Eugene. So now we can use the workbench. You could mod your gun with this gear. Okay, let's take a look. So in all those years we've never done this. All the heard noises, mm. but it was just Ellie putting the gun down. Uh, hmm. So either the pistol or the bolt action rifle, but we can't upgrade damage just yet. So let's just see. Uh, inspect. What does that do? Okay, we just zoom in then. Upgrades. Oh, look at that. That was fancy. Can we craft an extended magazine to hold more rounds? So that's why we can hold 10 uh, ammo. That's from the, the DLC, the pre-order bonus I got. Um, more accuracy and less recoil. More stability or more fire rate. Fire rate just drains ammo, so I think... I should probably go with stability. Hmm. Attach a compensator to reduce weapon recoil, but... I mean, the accuracy is nice. I'll go with stability first. There we go. And then we get another trophy, Tinker, and we get a new uh, grip for the gun. She even uh, models it a little bit, that was nice. There we go. Yeah. Some more stability on the gun. And then, otherwise, we can't really do anything. Because we're out of stuff. Oh, she even turns turns off the light. Can we now open this lock, or... Can... Can... Can Dina oh, open know. the lock? What has she found? Ah, and the heater turns on as well. That's floor. nice. Uh -huh. Aha! The yeah, and there was stuff behind the you bookcase as well. Uh, not here. Um, well, not here, but I did see something behind the bookcase, right? Um, but, but yeah, there we go. There we go. I knew I saw something behind the bookcase. I was looking for the prompt then, but uh, I was a bit too too uh, quick on the prompt. What's he got down here? Secret bunker. Well, it's obviously a sex den. Wh what? That's why he didn't tell you about it. I hope it's a sex den. For his sake. He was so lonely, man. Yeah, but he left his wife alone, so it's kind of his fault. Although we don't know the full story yet, I shouldn't judge the man. I shouldn't judge the man. Ooh. Oh my god. Is that weed? It's weed. <laughs> it's a lot of dead weed. I this mean, explains a lot. Yeah, wow. This is again an amazing set, by the way, an amazing level. I called it a set just now. I know this isn't a movie, this is a video game, but still. What's this? That's hey. a videotape. He's got that videotape thing. Huh. Dong of the Wolf. Smash Brandy's Cooch. Are these? It's porn. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Interesting taste, Eugene. Def definitely porn. Even in the po <laughs> in the post-apocalyptic world, there's porn. Uh, what else do we have? Weed. Maria would lose her shit if she saw this place. How'd he get this together? Must have taken him forever. <sighs> I wish he'd told me about this. Why? Could have so, helped him out. Yeah, you could have got, gotten high together. Yeah, because this looks like a hell of a lot of work, by the way. And then there's another bong. Oh, a bong attached to the gas mask. Dina. It's a gas mask bong. Oh, God, he was so smart. 
Yeah, it's an interesting way. <laughs> There's multiple, but this entire shelf is just one big bone. Okay. Okay, so we have whatever this is. Okay. Ah, just joints. Ooh, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. You want to light some, some oh, up? Yeah, there we go. There we go. You think it's still good? Does weed go bad? Hmm. Let's find out. I love the facial animations. Just the way that that she's Do exerting to get oh, the uh, the jar open. Oh, fuck. Give me that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like you're gonna get it. Okay. It's, you you yeah. could just smash it. Although you don't, you probably don't want to make fuck too much it. noise. What the fuck is wrong with you? I got it open, didn't I? Well, there's a lot more jars underneath the table there, by the way. If you want to take the stash with you. It smells good. I mean... Been stuck here a while, right? Totally trapped. I don't think this is a good idea, by the way. Can I ask you a question? Smoking weed with zombies outside. Oh, can you? Scale of one to ten. One being like absolute trash. And ten being life altering. How would you rate our kiss from last night. Why are we still talking about this? You said it was a mistake. Did I say that? What are you doing? I asked you to rate our kiss. I don't know. I give it a six. A six? Wow. Like a solid six. Okay. There are a lot of people around. Yeah, but six. Oh. What? I mean, now I really want to know how you'd rate it. I don't think you do. You're infuriating. Have you met you? You make me want to go back outside into that blizzard. Don't want to stop in you. Okay, that was hands down the best video game cussing I've ever seen. I mean, that's not a high bar to get across, but still, that was some amazing kissing in a video game. And then we're back to Abby, which means that we're at the perfect time to uh, take a little break. So we're getting back to this anxiety ring. Oh, God, there's a runner over there already. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a little break, so hopefully you enjoyed this episode and everything that was uh, packed into it because it has been Yeah, it's been over an hour again. So hope you hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and when we get back We're gonna see where we end up with Abby next So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching and hope to see you in the next episode of the last of us part two Goodbye